Hello and welcome to Virtualize Everything. As you can see from the screen behind me, we're going to be looking at setting up IOMMU on Proxmox with UEFI. We have a video that we've released doing this, but it's come to my attention that this video may not be exactly correct on the commands you're using or may have some other problems that are leading users to not successfully pass IOMMU through to their Proxmox server. Recently, in a video where I was setting up my JBob, we were able to get IOMMU set up and running. So I went ahead, cut that video up, and I'm gonna bring it to you so you guys have a dedicated video for passing IOMMU through. Let's get to the video. To enable IMMOU in your Proxmox system, the first steps you're going to need to take is to enable it in your BIOS. Now there's two different technology terminology types, one for AMD and one for Intel. Here on Intel, it's gonna be VT-D and it should give you a note on your Proxmox something like to enable more IO features for virtualization. Not all motherboards in history have supported this, but it's kind of my feeling now today that most CPUs and motherboards do indeed support IMMOU. And a lot of people use that for graphics card pass-throughs or HBAC LSI cards, HBA LSI cards pass through where you're gonna do like a true NAS setup where you're gonna use a bunch of drives and you're gonna let true NAS manage all of your smart and your drives for you. So here's a quick video of what that setup is gonna look like inside of my BIOS. I'll show you what that setting looks like. Okay, so we're here at my BIOS of my Proxmox system and I wanted to show you this setting. So if you choose to use your LSI HBA card in any form where you're going to be passing through the card and the drives to a VM like say TrueNAS and allowing TrueNAS to manage all of your drives and all of your smart, you're going to have to enable this setting if you have an Intel processor and a very similar setting if you have AMD, although AMD does name this technology different. So this system's installed on Grub, and in just a minute, we'll take a look at the process for actually doing IMMOU setup for a UEFI system and passing this through. And excuse me, I did just say the system is set up on Grub. It is UEFI. So we will be doing the UEFI process in the steps of this day one JBob setup or initial experience video that we're doing here. Okay, so now that you have rebooted your Proxmox system and you have VT-D or the equivalent set for your AMD system, you're ready to start the configuration process of using IMMOU on your UFI system. And I specify UEFI, although these settings can be set in Grub, and we do have a video for setting them in Grub. The process here for setting them in UEFI will be shown because that's how my server is set up. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead, select your node, and then press shell. Once we have a shell window, we can go ahead and issue a command here that's EFI boot manager dash V. And when we hit enter, we're gonna get what I would call a bunch of gobbledygook. But what this gobbledygook is going to tell us if we look a little bit closer is a line just like this, Linux boot manager EFI and boot 64. That's really going to let us know that we are using UEFI. And it's a central check because you want to make sure that you're not using Grub because 
different steps need to be taken and your pass-throughs aren't going to work if you're using Grub. Now that we've verified that we are using UEFI, we're going to want to go ahead and use Nano to edit the CMD line command file here at ETC kernel CMD line. Once we enter here, you can see that we have this line. Now it's really important that we keep everything here on this line. If we don't, things aren't going to work right. Your system mileage may vary depending on whether you're using ZFS. So what I'm going to want to do is press a space here, hit and go ahead and paste the quiet and the Intel IMMO U equals on as well as IMO U equals PT commands to go ahead and enable that IMMO U process. If you were using an AMD system, these added lines would be changing this Intel right here to AMD. Let's go ahead, press Control X, Y, and save this. And then we're going to apply changes with Proxmox dash boot dash tools refresh. As long as we don't get any error messages with this command, we have enabled IMMOU support and we can go ahead and reset. And we didn't get any error messages here. So at this point, we can just go reboot and we can tell our Proxmox system to restart. Now, of course, we're just gonna see our terminal here and nothing's going to work. Over here, as I look at my monitor, I do have a monitor with my Proxmox system. I am that lucky. We are in first day initial setup, so I have a screen on it so I can tell. Okay, so I can see on my screen that my Proxmox system has rebooted and I did go ahead and do a refresh of my web interface and you can see that we're back at the same point. Let's go ahead, reopen that shell window and issue one last command, which is to use dmessage to kind of look at all the messages and make sure that we have something about IMMOU in that log. And it could be a few different messages, but let's go ahead and see what we, and we got some different messages. Here's our Intel virtualization technology for IO and here's an IMMOU enabled. That is one of the messages that we are looking for. Now, we could also have something that looked like AMD VI IMMOU enabled or Intel dash IMMOU colon enabled. Our system did choose to and show us just the IMMOU is or IOMMU enabled. And I apologize, I've probably been saying that incorrectly through most of the video, I do it all the time. Anyways, at this point, we know that IOMMU has indeed been set up correctly and we are able to use it. Thank you for watching today's presentation on passing IO MMU through to your Proxmox system. As always, Virtualize Everything appreciates your views and asks you to consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help Virtualize Everything grow and bring more content and provide more content like this to the entire Linux world. We're dedicated to teaching and learning here, and I love to hear your guys' setups, builds, suggestions, and otherwise critiques on my video, so myself and the community can learn. Thank you for viewing, and have a good night.